what is up guys welcome back to the channel um today we are going to be doing the second part of the pf sense video which will be a little bit more configuration uh so if you are new here my name is day and i talk about cyber security on this channel and this is part of um the cyber security home web series um it's a continuation of the previous video on installing and downloading and installing pf sense so today we're going to be doing a little bit more um uh, going to be adding some more network adapters in our uh, vmware workstation network and also a little bit more configuration for um our pf pfsense firewall so let's just dive right into it so as you can see here um i am in vmware workstation right now um pfsense right here but i'm not going to open it just yet i'm going to go to our virtual network editor so we're going to add two more um uh network adapters to kind of accommodate our home web topology because as you can see here we have a um, we need to have an uh an interface for this management um interface for our snort ips also need one for our um snort ips interface one interface two so we're going to be adding all of those into our network editor right here uh, so let's just do that real quick so settings, yes so as you can see, we have VMnet 0, VMnet 1, and VMnet 8. Um, VMnet 1 is a host-only um, network, um, and then VMnet 8 is an added network. But as you can see here, um, local DHCP service is is disabled because um, uh, PSS is going to be handling all of the DHCP for us. So like I said, we're going to add two networks to this um, network editor. So first one is going to be VMnet 2. So let's just add that, All right? And for VMnet two, we're gonna make it a host-only network, and then we're gonna disconnect this because we do not want um this as a host virtual adap um, adapter. This network, and we're gonna disable disable DHCP, like I said, because um v uh PFSense is gonna be handling all of the um all of the DHCP services for us, and we want this because we we want this um uh adapter to be isolated. So it's, that's why we're we're making it as a host only uh, virtual uh, adapter, a virtual network. So uh, we're gonna add another network um three, and this is also gonna be very similar to the previous um one we just did. So it's also going to be host only. And then we're also going to disable this and also disable DHCP services um, as well. So that is okay. Um, it's going to apply everything. And sweet, we should be ready to move on to the next step. All right, so since we've added those um, two extra network adapters, we're also going to add them to our PFSense firewall. So over settings, and then we already have network adapter we already have two here we have, we have um the netted um, um adapter and then the vmnet one so we're just going to add one more which is going to be a network adapter and then it's going to be custom and this time we're going to choose vmnet two all right all right so quickly we're just going to confirm connectivity of our pss firewall because we made some changes so I'm going to power, power this on and ensure that we are able to have access to the firewall. So we're just going to wait for this to power on. Alright guys, so we have PFSense loaded up. I'm going to disable packet filtering. So go to the shell. PFCTL. Disable. Alright. And then come over here. And okay. Are perfect we have access to our pfsense so we can move on to the next stage of the configuration okay so now um we'll just temporarily close down the web browser and we're going to do some configurations here so you know we just um added one more adapter to our P um, pfsense machine so we're going to add it in here as well so we're going to choose one assign interfaces enter uh no and then the um 
So the one address is EM0, that doesn't change. LAN is EM1, the last one is EM2. Do you want to proceed? Yes. All right, perfect. We have our three interfaces. All right, so now we're going to assign static IP addresses to the LAN and the option one um, networks. So let's head over here and we're going to choose option two, set interfaces, interfaces, IP address. So two, enter, and we're going to start with, uh, so for the one, I, the one interface, we don't need to do anything. So we're going to start with two, enter, and we're going to give this an IP address as 172.16.1. Uh, 16.1.1 and we're gonna give it a slash 24 which is um the perfect size for you know as many ip addresses as we need um here we're just gonna click enter and we're just gonna click enter here as well and then do we want dhcp yes we do and then we're gonna start from 172.16.10.1.10 and then the N will be 172.16.1.254. You could use any um, IP address range you want. Um, and also use any, you know, um, network address for this. But this is um, what I'm choosing for this. So enter. Do you want to revert to HTTP? No. Okay. That should set up in a while. All right. Sounds good. So enter. And then for the option one, we are going to once again click two, and then we're configuring um, interface three. So enter. And this time we're going to use 172.16.2.1, and then we're going to give it a slash 24. Use well. Um, here we're going to just click enter, click enter, and then do we want DHCP? Yes, we do. And then the start address is going to be 172.16.2.10. It's going to be 172.16.2.254. Enter and no. Enter. Perfect. So we have those two addresses set up. All right. So now we're back here at our PF sense interface. Um, first thing we want to do is um, disable packet filtering, so we're going to go to the shell, and PFCTL, disable, all right, sweet, and then head over here, cool, and username is admin, and password is PFSense, we're definitely going to change the default username and password, not now, okay, so this is our wizard, and we're going to be doing some configurations here now, so, Next, next, okay, so here sends local domain, our primary DNS server, we're just going to use Google as our primary DNS server, it's just 8.8.8.8, .8 and then secondary DNS server is going to be a level 3 public DNS server, which is 4.2.2.2, .2 .2 .2. all right, perfect.
right so as you guys know this is my trusted guide for my home web configuration um, so the link to the physical book will be in the description as well as the PDF version uh, which you can also get for free or pay whatever you want so now we're just gonna confirm everything we've done let's just exit this and ensure that we have used all of the right configuration so um, we didn't use 512 megabytes we used 4 gigabytes of RAM and we used 20 gigabytes we used all of this so we disabled our audio we disabled USB um, we had our three network interfaces let us confirm that so uh, where's that at? settings yeah yeah so we have our three network interfaces um, the VM net zero which is this one um, we are using a netted network not a bridge network because the bridge network has a lot of issues like with my with my configuration I have a lot of issues like I've tried to troubleshoot but have not had any success with so I'm, I'm using a netted network instead of a bridge network for VMnet 0 so for VMnet 1 I'm using a um, I'm using the network adapter 2 so this, this interface is um, for our management network um, as you can see here in the home lab um, it's for this interface right here and then let me just pull that out and then um, for the VMnet 2 we have our IPS1 network interface which is also our option 1 interface right here 172.16.2.1 so we have done exactly as specified um, so the one interface should be network like I mentioned I'm using the netted um, uh, an added network here because I have tried every troubleshooting possible but have had no success with that so the LAN interface is one million to the 16.1 and yeah so we we've set all of this up everything is as specified we have our RFC 1918 networks configured um, and we also have our snapshot perfect so what is next we, we have an operational VM so we want to make sure that those policies match those illustrated in the segment segmentation guide and make sure that pfSense is hosting all the services mentioned in the core network services guide to make sure our firewall is fully functional and ready to handle our lab network so we're gonna do some connectivity checks um, that should be too long all right perfect so once you're finished setting up your pfSense VM according to the instructions laid out open the console session in the pfSense VM so let's do that real quick Eight, and attach your mouse and keyboard by clicking on the console the screen is blank so we already have all of that set up and then first run the command ping so let's run the command ping c5 www.google.com All right, so the output from the ping command should look similar to the output above. What do we have? Yeah, that's what we have, except that the IP address is different, but it looks pretty similar. Yeah, cool. So next, we're gonna run an NS lookup. So all of this is just to troubleshoot, um, just to confirm all of our configurations. So NS lookup 127.0.01. All right, Google.com. It's a different address, and then Google. Different. Okay, so yeah, everything looks good with that. And then the final one we're gonna run is curl. I H T T T S. Slash slash www.google.com. Okay, and two, it's a little bit different, but it's what we are expecting. Everything corresponds, server GWS. Um, yeah, everything looks similar, maybe a little bit different, um, a little bit updated over here. So it's perfect. The output of your call command should be similar to screen and capture above, which it is obviously 9208 and 9099. Yeah, so if so, you. <laughs> You may type exit so we can exit the shell and close your connection 
to the PF Sense console. Okay, we're just gonna leave that open for now. If you had any problems, you have got troubleshooting to do. I had problems because I was using the bridge network for my WAN um interface, but um I used I changed it over to a NAT network and it worked fine. So you should be using the bridge network, but if it doesn't work, um just use a NAT network for that interface, which is um interface uh yeah which is this interface the network adapter without any numbers okay and then everything looks fine okay these are some troubleshooting processes just in case you know you had any issues um and then make sure that you have your snapshot so yeah thanks thank you to this book for being our guide this is what i used for all of the configurations so make sure you grab a copy of the book on Amazon or just um, use the PDF. You can get it for free. I'm not sponsored by this book or by the publisher, but I think it's a really great book and it's what's helping me with my home life so far. So with all of that said, thank you very much for watching this video. This is going to be the last, um, the not the last, but for now, this is the most we're going to be we're, we're going to be doing with PFSense. Our next plan of action is going to set up Kali Linux. And then we're going to be moving on from there on. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. And I will see you in the next video.